So, you just learned that your classes will be online for the next little while, and you might be feeling a bit unsure about this change. What can you do to continue on in your studies successfully? In this video, you will learn strategies that will help you make the adjustment to online learning. First, connect with your instructor and course materials online. Make a plan to connect with your instructor and course materials regularly. Your instructor will communicate with you through your KPU email. Be sure that you check it every day so that you don't miss important instructions about how to finish your course. You will also find class materials and instructions for online learning in Moodle. Plan to visit each of your courses online several times each week and make a note of the learning activities that your instructor has provided for you online. Take special note of any online classes that will be happening in real time. Add these to your schedule. Plan to join the online class 10 minutes before it starts so that you are able to work out any technology problems. Your instructors will be available to you by email. If you have any problems or questions about your work, be sure to email your instructors right away so that they can work with you. Don't wait until the last minute. At the same time, have realistic expectations about response times. Your instructors will respond as quickly as possible, but be sure to wait at least 24 hours before sending a follow-up email. Remember to check your Moodle page and assignment instructions first to see if you can find answers to your questions there. As you are planning for your coursework, make a technology plan. You will want to find a way to have access to a computer or tablet during this time. If you are sharing with family members or friends, try to make a schedule that allows you to work online and complete your assignments. Next, plan your time. It's helpful to have a plan to manage your time. Without the routine of in-person classes, you need to plan out the structure of your day and week. It's a bit like being your own boss. Decide when you need to work and make a schedule for yourself. When you aren't attending classes, it's important to allow enough time for independent study. A good general guideline would be to plan for about 10 hours of reading, study, assignments, and doing online learning activities per class. But remember that this can vary between classes. A good way to make a plan is to use a weekly schedule template and create your own schedule that will indicate how you will plan your time this week. You can download a template from the link in the description box. Next, plan where and how you will work. You will also want to think about your workspace, especially if you are sharing with family and friends. Find a spot where you are able to focus and do your work. Gather your materials and designate a space for learning. If you aren't able to access a regular space, use a box or backpack to keep your learning materials together. You may want to set up a system so that your family or roommates know not to disturb you when you are working. Finally, plan to stay connected. Find ways to stay connected with your instructor, classmates, and friends. You may want to start a regular chat or social media group to stay connected and communicate about your work. Remember that staying connected to friends and family is important to your mental health. And remember that help is still available. You can book an online session with a tutor or learning strategist at tlc.kpu.ca. You can also submit your written work for feedback at tlc.kpu.ca or at rightaway.ca. In summary, as you transition to online learning, you will want to connect regularly with your instructor and course materials online, make a plan to manage your time, plan where and how you will work, and stay connected.